Hey guys, Zero back with Astro Empires today. Um, there's a few things I want to go over. First off, you can see my heads up is a little bit different. I now have advertising. EAP Hooray. We're just going to ask me if I want to upgrade every five seconds. Uh, also, these brown tabs I no longer have access to on this account because they cost money and I don't want to spend any on this account. So I'm just going to do without them. Not a big deal. Um, so you pay for your upgrade. Let's see how much it is. Let's just let's go into PayPal. Let's see. Okay, so for one month it's 3.99 euros. Okay, so for a year it's 20 euros, which is what 30 dollars, give or take. Well, that's not that bad. Uh, for what you get, uh, scanners are nice. You know, tells you any incoming fleet. Fleet gives you an exact outline of where all your fleets are, how much of what is in what. Same with structure. Capacity tells you exactly what you're capable of producing where. Uh, so those are kind of nice. The other thing you'll notice is if I hop in here, I'm going to build population there. And I'm going to hop into. Let's see what do I need. I'm going to build robotics factories, metal refineries, and oh, that's all it lets me do. Because extra queue slots, I need to upgrade. Whatevs. Um, okay, so kind of what I'm going for next is I want nanite factories. So I'll hop down to nanite factories in the tables. I need computer level 10. I already got laser level 8. Well, you guys were AFK, slacking off, you know. Uh, so I have laser, wait, was it computer or laser level 8? Awkward. I believe it's computer. Okay, computer level 8. Yeah, see, I'm not as dumb as I look. Research, computer. I'll pop that. That's going to give me nanite, which at this point in the game is going to be a big boost. That's going to be nice. Uh, I'm also going to grab a level in... You know, I'm not actually going to level anything else right now. Uh, because what I want to do is I need to produce some stuff. Because as you'll notice, I'm attempting one base play. Uh, it's not going very well because, as you can see, I only have one planet. This guy here has three that I found, Spiff and Cat. He's been kicked out of his clan. Or his guild, apparently he's not very good. However, he still has ion turrets, which is more than I can actually kill. And I have a big fleet for one astro not really doing anything. Like, like it's just really awkward. My fleet is surprisingly big. Like, that's a huge waste of money. I would never recommend getting this much fleet, but I was trying to be aggressive, uh, but I wasn't playing enough that my level of aggression caught up with the people in my area. Because uh, what it'll do is it'll take... Um, it starts in OO for the uh, galaxies here, instead of 62 would be OO, and it moves through at a certain rate. As new people join, it puts them in that place. So in the 62 galaxy, I got way far behind all the other new players, just because I wasn't playing uh, super actively. So it put me in a bad spot to actually use my fleet. So now I'm going to actually have to pressure a lot to get my fleet up to any reasonable amount. Um, so in this game, the interesting way that you build new bases, speaking of which, because I realized how far behind I was, I may as well just do it, I had to show you guys anyway. Uh, you have to build an outpost ship. Uh, we'll hop into tables, units, outpost ship. So what you need is level 1 warp drive. So you go to technologies, warp drive, you need energy 8, stellar 4. So I did this while you guys were gone. I already had research labs 8, and I just went ahead and researched warp drive. I built myself an outpost ship for a hundred credits. And put an extra slime. Oh, okay, so I'm yawning again. I should just probably get two more of those. Because, uh, here's how bases work. If I go to my account, cost of next base is going to be 50 credits. Uh, at one point I disbanded a building, uh, which was worth 12 credits or something, so that gave me 6 credits towards my next base. Which means my next base total cost will be 44 credits plus the outpost ship, so 144 credits. Okay, so here's my outpost ship here. And this is also something you would never want to do. Oh wait, is this my outpost ship? No, it's not. Okay. So this is something you also never want to ever do. Uh, so here is my main base. The one I started on. You would never want to build in the same system. But in this case, I don't care. Because uh, I'm not going to get scanners anyway. Uh, but what you, the idea behind this is you want to have it in different regions. So ideally, I would have my first base... Uh, region. Okay. I would have my first base here, and see this line? I would have my second base here. Not necessarily in this spot, 
but that would be the best spot. But I didn't want to wait for my ship to go all the way there. So I'm going to be totally building in the same spot. Because scanners, if I have a scanner on this planet, it will detect everything, all the fleets moving in this area. It will not detect fleets here. If I put a base here, it would detect all the fleets here. Uh, so the more area you cover, if you have 15 bases, you can cover 15 regions. It's a pretty big grid. keeps you fairly safe because you can see pretty much anything coming towards you. The second reason you don't want to do it is that if somebody finds me and finds my fleet out of position or kills my fleet or, you know, I just don't have a fleet or they have the perfect combination fleet build to kill mine, uh, I don't want to have all five of these, six of these Astros. Because what's going to happen is they're going to kill one and they're going to kill all five of the other ones. And then all of a sudden I'm permanently occupied and there's nothing I can do because all my production's locked down. Uh, but again, I'm not going to be playing the server long enough for that to be an issue. I'm probably only going to play for like four or five months, and then I'm going to be done. So, not a big deal. So I have an helpful ship in this fleet, it's the entire fleet. So I'm going to hit build base. Um, base. Um, super cool 2. Oh, just base super cool. So I'm going to build it. That fleet is now gone. If I go to Empire, I now have two Astros. So first thing I'm going to do, and you'll notice my credits are linked between them, so I have a ton of credits for this one. I want to build metal refineries just like crazy, because that's going to make my buildings go faster. It's going to give me a lot more um, income. It's just going to be fantastic. And we're all about fantastic, so we're just going to do that. Uh, now later on what's going to happen is I'm going to build this up to be about the same as this one. My production will be doubled, my research will be doubled, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, there is no hard cap on how many planets you can have. However, here's, here's, the, here's the cap. It's a soft cap system. I like soft cap in every game. Soft cap should be standard across every strategy game ever. There should be no hard caps of any kind. Um, it says cost of next base is 100 credits, so it doubles. And you'll notice once I build this one, uh, my cost per base for a base will go up to 200, and then it will go up to 400. And then uh, once you get to base, about base 15, it starts to get prohibitively expensive, where it's like um, 100,000, 500,000, and then it gets up to like 20 million. And that's where you have to think, is it really worth building another base? But we'll get to that later. At this point, it definitely is, because I'm building metal refineries for like five credits, and it's giving me a credit an hour, whereas on my other base it's 300 credits, and it's giving me a credit an hour, so it's definitely worth it at this point for me to build a base. My fleet size is totally way out of whack. I should have gotten, I should have rushed to outpost ships the first, within the first three days you can get like four colonies, or four bases, which is what you want to do, and by seven days you can have ten. Um, there's really no reason not to do that. I was just being lazy, and I didn't want to show you guys that. I wanted to show you the guys this. Um, so this is my empire here. That's building metal refineries. I'll continue to queue those up. It won't make you guys watch that. I'm building outpost ships. However, I do need to get more frigates. I, I tech to frigates because they're the best early game choice, as we talked about before. I'm fairly sure. Um, so I have 400 credits. So I can build maybe a few four. And the important thing to know with frigates is that the first ship that you can get with hangers. I mean, unless you do some super weird tech. Uh, so it has four hanger slots. So you can see I've got seven fighters and I've been building fighters to match. Or seven frigates I've been building fighters to match. So if I launch all seven frigates, I can do 28 fighters, which is the full complement, which makes them the strong, a strong ship because I can move the fighters. Okay. So I need to build 20 fighters because I can need four frigates and 20 fighters. Uh, now what's going to happen? Oh, I hope that built all of them. Oh, just barely. Awesome. 13 credits left. My math is way better than I didn't know. Uh, now why this is important is because fighters are super cheap. It's 5 cost for 2 armor. Frigates is 80 cost for 12. So that's 6 times. So that would be, it would only cost 30 credits to get that much defense and attack in fighters. Now the reason is fighters can't move by themselves, they need something to move them. So when you couple fighters and frigates together, your ratio gets really good. Uh, and it's also really good against everything early game, especially like ion and missile turrets, which is what I'm up against. I built these as recyclers, they never really did anything, unfortunately. Nothing to recycle. But once I get out there, I do still plan, I promise, this is my goal of this tutorial, is to kill Spiff and Cat. Uh, he hasn't built any fleet, so he has 46 fighters, which I can hopefully kill. 
he has five missile turrets and five ion turrets. So I need uh let's go to tables real quick. Uh, okay, so defenses, ion turrets are thirty two thirty two. Frigates are twelve twelve. So I'm realistic I'm realistically going to need three turrets or three frigates per turret. And there's five. So I need fifteen frigates, and I have enough corvettes still to kill the missile turrets. Uh, so, what is it? 15 minutes? Oh, good. Sorry, I'm yawning so much. So, I got four more on the way that gives me 11. So, hopefully, tomorrow I'll have enough credits to build enough frigates to attack him. Uh, where he got kicked out of his, alliance, his guild, I'm assuming he hasn't logged in a lot, which means he probably has a lot of credits, which makes it definitely worth it for me to occupy him. And I'll show you that later. Uh, this is about to finish my first metal mine, so that's really exciting. I'm just going to pause the video really quick. I'm going to hop into my other account just to show you a few things around there because I talked about expanding and building a base and stuff. Hang tight, just one sec. Okay, so here, I hopped into my Nova account. Um, if you hop into servers, you can see uh, my first account I've been showing you mostly is on Alpha. Ixion is the one I had the strongest account in the on the server for probably six months. Uh, that was pretty fun. As you can see, that was a while ago. Uh, Lyra was the last server I even logged into. I didn't play anything with Mira, and I only played Lyra for like three weeks, and I got bored and left. I never played Dune or Capo, so there's a big gap here where I never played this game. I'm currently in Nova. As you can see, this account is a lot scarier. It has two, almost 2.5 million fleet. Uh, it's 2.5 thousand income, which is way better than 35 income on another one. Uh, my combat experience is high. The cost of my next base is 100,000 credits. That's a lot. However, I have enough right now because I've been simming, you know, like Sim City, Sims the people. I haven't been doing anything. I mean, I've barely been producing fleet. The upside to this is I have lots of credits. So, if I go to my fleet screen, uh, this is bad. You never want to have this. You never want to have no production, no construction, because that means you're a total noob. But the... Uh, Guild I'm in on the servers pretty fail. Uh, they haven't done anything. All they're doing is this, um, and just building themselves up to be a good farm. So really, I haven't put much effort into the server because honestly, um, somebody gave me this account. The guild I got put into with it is just bad, and there's no other way to explain it. I mean, it, there's some good friends. I have some good friends in it, but they suck. Uh, this, this guild's gonna get destroyed uh, probably uh, in six months to a year. When this big server wars start happening, they're just going to die. Um, yeah, so where's my fleet? Do I have an outpost ship? I do. Okay, so I want to go to region 30. Do I have a base here? I do not. I don't really want a base here either. I mean, there's nothing, there's no good Astros left. I'm going to go to uh, Galaxy 26. So I see here, let's see if these, these have any good Astros. I don't want a Magma. I'm going to go with... Probably all the good Astros are going to be taken close to here. As you can see... Oh, I don't want to see. Okay, so I'm going to have to scout to find new Astros. I'll do that some other time and show you guys, but uh, I just wanted to hop onto this account and show you real quick. Well, what happens is you get bigger, you see my economy. Uh, I can produce a lot more things, like I can produce cruisers, heavy cruisers. I'm um, actually a heavy cruiser spec in this one. If you look at my fleet, uh, as you can see, it, you know, whatever, no big. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. I think I messed up my webcam. I don't know. I might try to fix it. If not, you see a funny, really big webcam down in this corner. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or rude remarks, I really appreciate them. You know, I've been kind of getting stiff. Nobody's been leaving rude remarks or questions or comments. It's making me really sad. But, you know, you deal with it. I'd appreciate some more comments. I'm getting some likes. Getting lots of views. But I'd like some feedback. Just tell me what I can improve. And, and maybe some videos you'd like me to make. Uh, on that note, play safe. And I'll see you later.